example number one so we are given the half reaction or we are given the reaction taking place in an acidic solution and we are to balance this using the half reaction method and an important thing that we consider here is that it's taking place in an acidic solution so this can affect our answer uh, later on so we know that the first step in balancing using the half reaction method is to what assign oxidation numbers to all elements in or to all the atoms in the given equation so you already know how to assign oxidation numbers so for oxygen here on the reactant side this is negative 2 chromium is positive 6 we start with hydrogen is positive 1 oxygen is negative 2 which makes um, nitrogen positive 3 and then we have chromium which is positive 3 on the on the product side we have negative 2 for oxygen and then we have nitrogen which is positive 5 so we can see here that there is a change in the oxidation of number of chromium from positive 6 to positive 3 so ni decrease ang iyang oxidation number And if there is a decrease in the oxidation number, it means that the substance has undergone reduction or oxidation. This is reduction. And the other element that has changed in oxidation number is in that of nitrogen. So from positive 3, naimo siyang positive 5, and there is an increase in the oxidation number. There is an increase in the oxidation number telling us that um, the substance has undergone oxidation. So the next step is that we are going to, after assigning oxidation numbers to all the atoms in the equation, the purpose of that is to for us debate to identify which substance uh, has undergone reduction in oxidation because we, the next step would, would be um, us writing... Uh, the two half reactions so the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction so we are simply going to copy so for reduction we have the dichromate Cr2O7 2 negative AQ and then let me just put a space and then we have Cr3 plus Aq. And then for oxidation, we have HNO2, that's nitric nitrous acid. And then I'm going to put a space there. And then we have the nitrate ion Aq. So after writing the uh, two half reactions, the oxidation and the reduction half reaction, the next step for us is to balance the number of atoms of all elements except oxygen and hydrogen so if it's except oxygen and hydrogen that would be for nitrogen but in the case here we have one nitrogen on the left side in the oxidation half reaction and we also have one nitrogen on the right side so we don't need to do anything here because equal naman ang number of atoms to nitrogen on both sides but for chromium we have two here. Remember that the counting of atoms would depend on the subscript written in the formula and the coefficient. So we have two as a subscript here and one as a coefficient telling us that there are two chromium atoms on the left side of the equation. And we only have one as a subscript and one as a coefficient. So we only have one chromium atom on the right side. So to balance the, to balance the number of chromium atoms, so we are going to put a coefficient of 2 here. Remember that we don't add a subscript. We don't do anything to the subscript. Ang pwede na ginato mabutang class is to write a coefficient. So this time, we have two chromium atoms on the left and two chromium atoms on the right. So after balancing the number of atoms of all elements except oxygen and hydrogen, the next step is to balance the number of oxygen atoms. And... To balance the number of oxygen atoms, you are going to add water. After balancing oxygen, we balance hydrogen by adding the H plus ion 
or the hydrogen ion. So let's count the number of oxygen atoms. So here on the reactant side, so we have two oxygen atoms, and on the right side we have three. So there is a difference of one. So para ma-equal siya, we're going to add one oxygen here sa left by adding water. So plus H2O, that's liquid. And then for the reduction half reaction, there is no oxygen on the right side of the equation. We have seven oxygen atoms on the left side of the equation. And for us to balance the number of oxygen atoms, we add water, pilaka water, seven ka water ng molecules. That's a liquid. So, na natay seven ka oxygen, and we also have seven ka oxygen. So, one ihang subscript times seven, that's a total of seven. So, after balancing, after balancing oxygen, we balance water. And how do we balance water? I mean hydrogen. And how do we balance hydrogen? By adding H+. Plus. Kung asa siya ni dead. So, for the oxidation half reaction, there is a total of how many hydrogen here? So, this is 1 plus 2. So, that's a total of 3 hydrogen atoms. But here on the product side, there is no hydrogen atom. So, we are going to add 3 hydrogen ions, AQ. And then for the reduction, wala hydrogen here. But we have how many hydrogen manisia? We have 7 as a coefficient and 2 as a subscript. So, that is a total of, we multiply, that's 14 hydrogen. So, we are going to add 14 H plus AQ. Okay, so na balance na ang all elements except uh, all elements including na oxygen and hydrogen. The next step is to balance the total charge on each side of the equation. So to balance the total charge, we determine the charge in each substance, and then we 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 just um, determine kung pila ang total on both sides. So here, wala man sila charge yes class. How do we determine the charge? Kanang murag na superscript dere na plus or minus, di ba? If wala na siya charge diha, it means that the charge is zero. So zero ang charge ani, zero po ang charge sa water. So the total charge on the left side is zero. But for the nitrate ion, NO3 negative, to determine the charge is pila maning minus ra dere, meaning that's negative one, di ba? And then you multiply also to the coefficient. So, negative 1 times 1, that's just negative 1. And then we have positive 1 here for hydrogen. And then times 3, so that's a total of, and I mean that is positive 3. So, for the product side, we have a total of, we just add positive 3 minus 1. So, that is a total of positive 2. So, ang total niha, diha na nato ma-determine kung pilay electrons nga atong i-add. And remember that we must always add the electrons on the more positive nga side. So, mura na na siya 0 o 2. Kung sa may atong buhaton para, para ma-equal silang duha. Kinahanglan raman tamo minus. So, minus ni siya 2 electrons. Muna nga... Diba, in oxidation, we are going to lose man electrons. So, we add 2 electrons on the left side. So, kung i-add na 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 to, negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. Mo correspond lagi na siya. Kung oxidation gani, mo lose og electrons. Electrons must always be added on the product side. So, same here. I mean, if if you, if you total ni mo sa imuang charges and it will happen that you need to add the electron on the reactant side, meaning there is something wrong with your solution. Okay, so next. So for uh, the dichromate, that is negative 2. For the hydrogen, that is positive 14. Diba? Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Positive 1 times 14, that's a total of positive 14. So meaning on the reactant side, that would give us a total of positive 12. And then for chromium, this is positive 6 and 0. Diba? Positive 2 times positive 3, that is positive 6. So the total charge on the product side is positive 6. 
Again, we add electrons on the more positive side and the number of electrons to be added is the difference between the charges on the reactants and on the product side. So we have positive 12 and positive 6, that is a difference of 6, meaning we must add electrons on, sorry, we must add electrons on the reactant side. How many electrons? That's 6 electrons. Okay, so plus 6 electrons. So after which, ikahoman na to og, after we balance the um, charge on both sides of the equation, then we are going to make the number of electrons on each half reaction equal. So naatay two electrons here on the oxidation half reaction, and then we have here six electrons on the reduction half reaction. So to make the number of electrons equal, we are going to multiply this equation. We are going to multiply the oxidation half reaction by 3. So that, let's rewrite this. In multiply of 3, so 3 HNO2 AQ plus 3 H2O, that's liquid, to 3 NO3 negative AQ plus 9 H plus AQ plus 6 electrons. And then for the reduction half reaction, we don't do anything. We just copy that. So Cr2O7, 2 negative AQ plus 14 H plus AQ plus 6 ka electrons. Then 2 Cr3 plus AQ plus 7 H2O liquid. And then the next step would be for us to add the two. We are going to add the two half reactions. So when we add the two half reactions, we look at the substance nga present on both sides of the equation. Cancel them out if na pariha. Pero if wala gani siya pariha, you just copy it kung asa siya na butang. So the first thing that we can cancel out here is scanning electrons. Okay, pariha man sila on the two half reactions. So we can cancel this out. And then <clears throat> and then for for HNO2, we just copy that. So 3 HNO2 because wala man siya kapariha nga substance on the right side and on the other equation as well as the dichromate Cr2O7 2 negative AQ. So never forget the subscripts, never forget the coefficients, and as well as the charges. Okay? And then for water. So we have water here. Let's highlight this. We have water here to look at water molecules. And we have water here on the right side, which is 7. So meaning, magminus ta. So tulo ni diri, 7 ni diri. When we subtract, that's a difference of 4. But because the coefficient of water on the right side of the equation is greater, so meaning the four water molecules will be left on the product side. And then we also have um, hydrogen, so 14 and 9. So because uh, there, so 14 and 9, there is a difference of 5, right? And the great, um, greater man ang coefficient ni hydrogen on the left side, so the difference of 5 will be left on the reactant side. So 5 H plus AQ. Okay, we just copy the nitrate ion AQ plus 2 Cr3 plus AQ. And don't forget the difference sa water, 7 minus 3, that is 4. 4 H2O liquid. So that's basically it. Kai, ningun man siya ng acidic ang solution, then the ion present in the um, final nga equation, the net ionic equation must be the H plus ion. So before you conclude that that is already your, um, that your answer is already correct, you have to um, take note of, you have to check your answer. You have to take note of the total number of atoms of each element. So let's start with chromium. I let's start with chromium. So na iduha dereka chromium, and there are also two chromium atoms here. So that's correct. 
And then for nitrogen, so we have 1 times 3, so that's a total of 3 nitrogen atoms on the left side. And we also have 3 here. For the hydrogen, so we have 5 plus 3, so that's a total of 8. And then we have here 4 times 2, that's also a total of 8. And then for oxygen, this is 4 plus 3 times 3, so this is 9. So 9 plus 4, that's a total of 13. And here on the reactant side, re uh, reactant side we have 7 plus 6, so that's a total of 13. So equal. And then for the charge, so this is positive 5 minus 2 plus 0. So 5 minus 2, so the total charge is plus 3 on the reactant side. And then here we have negative 3, negative 3 plus 6, diba? 2 times 3, that's 6. So negative 3 plus 6 plus 0, so that's a total of positive 3. So equal po ang charge. So we don't just look at the number of atoms of each element, we also must look at the charge. And because upon checking, we are able to get equal number of atoms on both sides and as well as charges, then we can say that this is the net ionic nga equation that is already balanced. So that's how we balance by using the half reaction method.